There you are. We are at the Hershey Lodge for Steph's birthday. And we're going to go have dinner at Revelry. I can never say the name right. Chop House. Yeah, Revelry Chop House. And uh, I forgot my camera at home, so we're doing this on my phone. And it's really weird. Hopefully it's okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, let's go see how it is. Revelry, as soon as you walk in, you walk back. And there's a staircase here. You go up the stairs and it's at the top. If we don't run into each other. Here is the sign for the restaurant. Here is the menu. It's not a very big menu, but I guess it doesn't really have to be. Like hard, the other one has to go away. Got some bread service. With butter. And do you say what kind of butter that is? It looks, like it, it, has, butter. it looks like it has salt, salt on it. Salt and pepper. But it's not that honey butter from Devon. No, no, it's not. And house chips and some sort of sauce. And a charcuterie board. We got some finger wing potatoes. Green beans, smoked Gouda Mac with bacon. I got a Wagyu. Wagyu strip. From Snake River Farms. Yes. And I got the filet. <laughs> the molten chocolate cake, the Reese's peanut the butter pie, the and the strawberry shortcake are all made in house. Strawberry shortcake. Yummy. Malt and chocolate cake. I got lots of Hershey kisses. What did you think of today? It was very delicious. The um, my steak was um, a little bit too much tar, but other than that, the only that was the only real thing that I have to complain about. Uh, the steak was really good. That mac and cheese was really good. The mac and cheese was very good. All the sides were delicious. I didn't try the, what was it, asparagus? Or no, it was green beans. Green beans. I didn't try those, but the potatoes were good. He doesn't eat vegetables, though, so I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. But um, definitely got the mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Get the potatoes. I don't understand how to eat a charcuterie reward. Mm-mm. No, you don't. No, it just doesn't make sense to me. But um, the stuff on it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. And that the, the, the dips to the chips. Uh, what? I thought I saw cop lights out there. But it wasn't. I don't know. It might have been lightning. We're starting to get into a storm. Yeah, we're having thunderstorms. Um, but the, the dip for the chips was like a blue cheese dip. And, and my mom, who does not like blue cheese, tried the dip. And she thought it was delicious. So she, it's she not. She didn't know that it was blue yeah, cheese. Yeah, <laughs> it's not very blue cheese esque. Uh, I thought it tasted like blue cheese, but like it's. It wasn't bottled blue cheese that you would get from the mm -hmm. grocery store. Like it was house made blue cheese. Yeah, it was very good. And um, my mom also got the scallops, which I don't think we got video of, no. but um, both the chips and the scallops were recommended by a friend. And they. Definitely lived up to the hype. Yeah, so get the get the chips and get the scallops, get the mac and cheese. Actually, just just get everything. Yeah, just one of each on the menu, yeah. just that's, to be that's, safe. That's fine. Just to be safe. I, I doubt there's anything bad on the menu. Uh -uh. It's a very limited menu, and I think sometimes more limited menus, the quality of the food goes mm. up, um, which is why a lot of times nicer restaurants have smaller menus. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, it's easier to control the quality of your food. Mm. But uh, that's going to be the end of the video. We will see you in the next one.